It is January 31st. We are here on a very messy day in Charlottesville after the snow. This is a honorary airway. Remember what happened a few months ago. This is the street. Okay, here's what you call as the pedestrian mall in Charlottesville. And right now everything is closed because of the uh, winter storm, a snowstorm, and it's a Sunday, so everything is closed. So you can get you know better view of the shops, although none of them are open. So we we'll just take video shots. Right now they're showing Philadelphia starring Tom Hanks and Denzel Washington. That was shown many years ago. This is like a virtual ghost town. All of these students are playing in the snow. They're so excited. Edgar, Alan Poe. Okay, folks, we are now at the uh, house, house of Thomas Jefferson. Ready? We're gonna come in. Yeah, we're gonna come in. Yeah, we're gonna come in. Systematic. We are inside the home of Thomas Jefferson. And I suspect that we should keep social distancing while on the tour. This is his library. 
This is what they use to iron their clothes. They would first need to heat it up before they press clothes. This is Thomas Jefferson's house, backside. First bill, finally, uh, we're gonna do some wine tasting. Namin dito ni Nina ng aurini. Tina pa na kayo. Tina pa smoke ano na ka? We started making Alagante about three years ago. But it was sort of nice. It's such a beautiful name. We thought it'd be a good uh, name to call our wine. It's made with mostly petite Syrah and grape juice. Uh, but uh, so Jefferson's failures in winemaking were famous. He died in 1826. They didn't really make sense of how to make the European grapevines that we grow now uh, really grow well in this area until the 1860s. So he died before all that happened.
the uh, wine tasting area. So we're looking at the uh, vineyard only in the winter time. So you would assume there's going to be a lot of uh, grapevines out there in the summer when there is a growing season. But right now you see they're all covered with snow. So that's the uh, logo of Burbusville.